Hi everybody, welcome back to Average, I'm Steph, I'm the Average Artist and today we're going to find out how to make a mini zine. This is a little zine that I made probably about four years ago, not sure actually, and it was about all the books that I burnt with love. It's a very hipstery thing to make, I did it with like look, a little bit of collage and stuff. And yeah, so it's about just visualising little bits and bobs about the books that I really gave five stars and really loved. Yeah, you can see them all here. I did like a content thing on the back, which is kind of cute. Shiny, To Kill a Mockingbird, A Handful of Dust, I Capture the Castle, Horns, The Diary of Anne Frank. These were the books I chose, so yeah, today I wanted to make a new one. So this is basically how it looks, first of all. So you can see there's two sides. And what happens is it's just like an A4 piece of paper basically. This is card so it's pretty like heavy, which I prefer. Then fold this, basically you fold it in half and then you fold it in half again. So you have to fold that out like this. So it's like a little bit of a organ, like the instrument, not like the body organ. Arguments? Yeah, that's how you make a zine. And uh, I thought it would be cool to recreate this and I'll just show you guys how I did it basically and what my favorite five star reads have been since, um, since I made this. So let's just leave this to the side so you guys can see what I'm doing a little bit. So this time I'm gonna be using my Holbein watercolor sketchbook. I'm just gonna take a piece of paper out from here, I think the paper's actually quite thin, so let's see how it does. It's also, I think, smaller than this one. I'm not sure what size this is, because this is A4, but yeah, we're just gonna fold it the same way. And I'm just gonna do it like this. Mochi, no, this is not for you. Can you pull that? You can't, you can't just do that. Fold it this way. Okay, so that's the centre. And now these ones have to fold this way. You're following, you're picking up what I'm putting down here, lads. You can see on this old one that I put front, back, and then one, two, three, four, or five, six of how it will display when you fold it up. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut this line in the middle here. So now, we should be able to fold it the same way. Oh, other way. So you want it to like flare out like that basically. And then you have your little zine, which you can probably fold a little bit better than I did, um, being a bit more strict with the, the folding there. But there you go, that's how you make the little paper zine. Um, it's really good because you don't need to use any staplers and you can just fold it and then I guess if you wanted to you could do something inside the zine as well so you could like do a little surprise poster inside it or something which is quite fun so let's get to drawing out what I wanted to put on these covers so if you are starting it off like I did where I'm just doing random book covers I don't really care what is the front or not then you don't really need to figure it out but I would suggest writing on the back what's going to be the front and what's going to be the back and the middle pages if you want it to follow a certain scheme or a little booklet or something. So the first book we have up today is The Book of Dust which follows on from the events in his Northern Materials which I really enjoyed. I really like this book. The second book in the series was a little bit long and a little bit strange to me but I will definitely still read the third one that is coming out probably soonish. I did enjoy this book and uh, yeah, that's why it's a kind of like a five star review for me. I really like the cover as well. There's lots of like sketchy hatching of texture in it, which I tried to emulate with my reproduction of the cover. And I really like the way that this turned out. It's a good little first one to start us off with. I'm using lots of Holbein pencils and Polychromos pencils and also my Artex um, alcohol markers and then I'm also using lots of ink I'm going in with like a wet ink as well and playing with it you guys can add and do whatever you want bear in mind what paper you use will determine what you can actually do on it that's why I wanted to use my watercolor paper because I knew that I was gonna use a lot of different media so probably best to find kind of like maybe a mixed media cardstock would be really good to make your own little zine here 
The next book is The Outsider by Stephen King. I really like this one because it felt like a spiritual successor to it slightly. I can't explain it unless you read it and also if you read the Mr. Mercedes series it's sort of like the final one in that series but it's not about the main character. It's sort of like a side story so I really enjoyed it. It made all the stories come together for me. Maybe if somebody else read it they wouldn't give it five stars but for me it felt very much like if you are a fan of Stephen King's books it was like him going back to his roots. And the next book is one of the first five star reads that we did for our book club in Patreon, so if you don't know, we have a book club on my Patreon page, which is really fun. We pick a book each month and we read it, and this one was Mexican Gothic, which was so much fun to do. I really like this cover. I think I've re redrawn it before, and I really like the way that this one turned out because it seemed really like cartoony compared to the other version, the actual real version of the book cover, and I really like that because it gave it a bit more of my style and my flair which I really like. So if you want to reproduce these little zines, maybe you want to give some to your friends or maybe sell them at maybe like a comic con or something, I don't know, you could just scan this in and then print it out and fold the papers up in the exact way that you've done here with the original and then you can have copies of whatever you want to make which is kind of such a fun idea. I wish I knew how to do this when I was like a teenager. It would have been cool to make like mini zines and give them out to friends and things. But hey, uh, we know about it now and it's a really nice keepsake as well, like I said, um, for me and reading all these books. It's really nice to look back on them and be like, oh yeah, that book. And especially my older um, zine that I showed you in the beginning, I really found it like one day when I had kind of forgotten about it and I was like, oh yeah, this is so cool. And just rereading the quotes that I found interesting at the time. I like that version of this zine as well. So I might make another one where I do like quotes and stuff from books that I really enjoy because I think sometimes it's good to reinforce what a book left with you. So the last um, one of this half of the zine is Empress of Salt and Fortune. It's another five star read from our book club and I really liked this book. It was sort of just strangely written to me. It was something new and fresh and it's a very short read but it was very fantastical but also like delves into Chinese history which I really like. And yeah, so the next book is my favourite book that I read all year and my favourite new series ever, The Mirror Visitor Chronicles. If you guys have not heard of this, um, the last book just got translated from French and I finished them all a couple of weeks ago and I am absolutely in love with this series. If I could see a book turning into a Ghibli film it would be this one. Basically the main character can touch objects and read their history and see like visions of the history and the world has been separated into different continents like that are floating apart from each other and on each continent different factions have different powers and she has to go and be married to somebody from a northern territory and who are very different from her and it's sort of like a courtier's situation in the beginning of this book and then it just builds up from there and it's really really great. I really like that series because it has a bit of everything that I admire or enjoy reading you know in fantasy anyway. So the next book is a bit of a stone's throw from that book because it's more based in reality. It's born under a million shadows and it takes place in Afghanistan where war is raging and um, it's about a young boy being born and his family and I remember this book really sticking with me and it was good because it was kind of a story that wasn't solely based on heartache and terror which usually when I read books about Afghanistan or that, they're always quite heartbreaking. So this one still had its dose of uncomfortable reads within the book, but it I think like it had a nice ending. So there we go. The next painting or book cover I should say is The Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. If you haven't read this book I really suggest it. It's like sci-fi, fantasy, whodunit. It's really incredible. I remember reading it feeling very confused the whole way through and 
really enjoying the outcome of the ending. It's about a person who keeps waking up in a new body every day, but has to figure out who murdered Evelyn Hardcastle. So it's really interesting and I really like that read as well, obviously because it's in my little zine that I've made here. Now approaching the last book, I think this is like the oldest book on here that I've read, as in the longest ago that I finished it, the longest ago, you can tell I read a lot. Um, this one is Pachinko and it is about a Korean family before the Second World War and the occupation and how this family moved to Japan and opened a pachinko parlour, which was very frowned upon at the time because it was sort of like gambling and people who did it were looked down upon and also the the things that the Korean population faced at the time it sort of speaks on that and it's really an interesting beautiful story full of heartache again because it tends to take place in wartime and gives the the interpretation of hardship for Korean people during the second world war so it's a really beautiful story and all these books are really great and I'm so glad that I made them into a zine because I can pick this up and look at it and just think, nice. <laughs> The final product. All that's left to do is just fold it up. So let's do that. Oh, it's so satisfying. Uh, which one do I want to be the front? This one. Yeah, I like that way. Um, so this is the final weenie zine. We have The Outsider, Mexican Gothic, Empress of Salt and Fortune, A Winter's Promise, Born Under a Million Shadows, Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle and Pachinko and the book of dust. I really like doing one of these, it's really fun and it's a cool way to get out of art block to just like study the book covers and just have fun with it. You could also do it like I did the old one where I just took something from the book or took a quote from the book, for instance The Shining, this is the a quote that I really liked from the book. Um, I really like the way that these turned out so now I can every year make one maybe of the different books that I liked that year so what do you guys think let me know down in the comments and uh, let me know if you're gonna make one of these they're really fun that's the end of the uh, of the video thanks for watching guys um, please like and subscribe and I will hopefully see you next time bye